thing that I do that fans may not know about me or may be like, oh man, that's cool, uh, is uh, I write or I draw in my journal almost every night, close to every night, um, different drawings or different paintings that I have throughout my day and stuff like that. So, so secretly, I've been drawing in my journal for the past two and a half years. You know, I don't, I don't tell anyone that, but everyone knows now. I'm not really a big comic book guy, but I, I love the, I love, I love comic books the way they look and stuff. But I wasn't really like a fan of it. My biggest pet peeve is when time is being wasted for no reason. I don't, I hate wasting time on things that don't need to be talked about or things that don't need to be demonstrated or you know, just, just wasting time. What I love about social media is that you know you can, it can change your life. What I hate about social media is the people in it can be annoying, I guess. So, uh, my thoughts on Trump being in office is like, yo, at this point, man, we, it, 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 it ain't nothing we can do about it. I'm just, yeah, shit, just don't fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I can say. What influences my fashion style is pretty much everything. Like, I look at men's clothing, women's clothing, just different aesthetics, and I just put it all together in my head and just, I know how to throw stuff on. Really well. I don't really care for brand names or anything like that. I may like to wear them sometimes, but I just like how things look. So when it comes to clothes, it's the the combination and compression of different colors. Like I could wear, like right now I'm wearing a purple jacket with uh, gray and tan shoes. Like I feel like it mesh. They're two different colors, but I feel like they mesh well. You know, so I just do it. You know, just throw it on. If I could work with anyone, I'm gonna give you guys two sets. If I could work with anyone, dead or alive, it would be Michael Jackson, just me and him. And this is my other set of people I, I, which I well, hope to work with pretty soon. I wanna do a song with Cuddy and Wiz all on one record. I feel like that's something that people could look forward to and I'm gonna do it. The main reason why I'm influenced by Kid Cudi is because the type of person he is. When I first found out about him, this was like 08, 09, I think Day and Night came out at that time. I was in like ninth grade. And I was one of those kids that was wearing the shoulder bag and nappy fro and everybody looking at me like I'm crazy. Skinny jeans. Everybody, that was like the Roscoe Dash wave and Mohawk and colors, skinny jeans and all that. They were looking at me like I'm stupid. And um, yeah, just listening to his music and just I felt like I could relate to him extremely. Uh, one of my favorite records from Kid Cudi, all-time favorites, is uh, going back to Honolulu just to get that damn Maui Wowie. I love that song. I used to play it back to back to back to back to back to back. That was like one of his mixtape cuts. Uh, Wiz Khalifa influenced me also, just like Kid Cudi, like the type of person he was as well. And they both reminded me of myself. He reminds me of me, and vice versa, I guess. But I'm in, I, I'm in, I, I'm influenced and admired by people that I can extremely relate to, and that's pretty much it. And it was during their prime, and I feel like I'm at my prime, and it's just kind of relatable. This type. Well, one of my favorite songs from Wiz would probably be uh, "Still Blazing" off of Cushion Orange Juice, and. Uh, Mind you, at this time, I'm like in ninth, 10th grade, so I'm like, man, these are my favorite artists. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The next, you know, couple months later, I started rapping and doing my own thing. So I was influenced by that and it was really tight. I've never met Wiz or Cuddy yet, but you know, I want to meet them when the time is right. I feel like I haven't met them because the time isn't right yet. You know? I was influenced by Swayze back then as well. The, remember the guy, uh, Cronin Lime? Yeah. That was one of my favorite artists at the time as well. Like all three of those artists were like all like my favorite back in like 08, 09. And I haven't met an artist or heard an artist since that time that's really kind of, you know, influenced me like that. So 